Okay, go ahead. Um, my phone number is 910-476-2840. And my email address is willfaintnot at gmail.com. And your name is? And my name again is Elder Michelle Ford. All right. And I would love to hear from you for any kind of assistance that you can give me for next year's event. All right. Okay. So we're at the community day and we're going to continue rolling film. It just started over another segment. So let's go. Okay. Yes. <laughs> this is again the Kingdom Kingdom Impact, Impact Global Ministries. Global in the great city of Fayetteville, North Carolina. And it's located at... 2503 Murchison Road. Amen. Okay. Excellent. Oh, we have another booth. Aspire Self-Sufficient Program. Self-Sufficiency Program. Okay. She caught up with you, Greg. Yeah, she did. <laughs> Yeah, they got a couple of tables because they do quite a bit of things in the commissary. Okay. I'm going to take one little pen before I leave. Okay. So, There's one left. <laughs> Got to get it. Oh, wonderful. Hello. This is our Guardian at Light program. Hi. You're live on My Kings TV. You can go ahead. You can go ahead, little man. Let me get a picture of you while you go. <laughs> All right. And your name? Joe Soto. Okay. Oh, you want to stand up? Okay. Okay. Now tell us about your program and what you're doing in the community. Sure. This is the Guardian at Item program. What we do is we represent neglected and abused children. Mm -hmm. Once a child is uh, deemed neglected or abused, they go into the DSS system. And then we get appointed by a judge to follow the kid all the way through to he's either back out or adopted out. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we make recommendations to the judge mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, along the way of uh, what we think is best for the kids. So we look out for the best interest of the child through, while he's in the DSS system. So how would someone, you know, if they're interested in, you know, your service or helping you, how can they get in touch with you and where are you located? Well, we're located in the courthouse. We're in the basement. Mm -hmm. And um, Where is that at? This is going worldwide, so. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this is in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. But this is, uh, of course, the... The Guardian at Item System is also known as CASA mm -hmm. and a lot of the other towns, but we're also United States wide. Okay. And uh, every every town has a Guardian at Item. And like I said, we're on Dick Street right here on the Guardian uh, on the Court That's House. That's uh, 117 Dick Street. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, and hey, and hey, your man. phone number then? <laughs> oh, wow. Your phone Nobody number that they can reach you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is live. It's okay. I love it. Oh, is it live? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> Streaming live as well. Right, so it's 910. That's 475-3021. Uh, okay. All right. So your name again? Joe Soto. All right. Well, thank you so all much right, for all that you, you do in the community. One key word. We were strictly volunteers. Volunteers? Yes, okay. ma'am. And um, we have close to 600 children that are in the system and only uh, about 90 to 100 volunteers. Wow. Yes, ma'am. So there's quite a few kids mm -hmm. that doesn't have... They're not, that are not being represented in the courts today okay. because we just don't have quite enough. We just can't keep up. So hopefully, you know, somebody see this and let's come on out and at least, you know, I'm just we don't we don't force anybody and there's not like yeah, you get one case, two case. We don't put you in a situation where you're not a, you know, you're uncomfortable or anything. Okay. So yeah. There's, so can I take a film of some of these? You sure enough can. Okay, the Guardian Light Program. Thank I, you. I, I never knew all that. You know, right. every, every two or three minutes, we got a kid being abused, you know, and it's a shame. And I said up there, it's like, people, when they lose their jobs, they lose their, you know. They lose their tempers and they take it out they lose it, they, Exactly, they always take it out of the youngest. Mm -hmm. That would be, yeah. let me, y'all can talk again, do that again. Anyways, but every two or three minutes as a child in North Carolina is being abused. And, of course, uh, we, uh, it's, it's a shame, you know, because when they either somebody loses a job or, matter of fact, time the children, men, they come back deployed. And right, right. Come back deployed. The first thing they do is they take it out of the children, the most vulnerable, yeah. you know, and the and kids always just want to suffer. Mm. And if not, like I said, if and if not us, who would the child go to? That's right. You know, there's many out there waiting for the kids, waiting for the weakness. So we don't take advantage of them. So like I said, this is it's a great program. It's probably one of the worst paying, best job you can have. Yeah. You know. So it's, are you guys actually go to court? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Yes, ma'am. Like I said, we, we follow the kid all through and we, we do a report. Okay. And we make recommendations to the judge, like I said, and it's not, you don't have to be a doctor or a lawyer, you 
right, don't have right, to be, right, right. you know, all you got to do is have the, the time and the heart, you know. So the, he said, most people are parents. If you've been a parent, like, yeah. you know what to do. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's basically um, like, my thing would be is like, if you have a child and you're going to take it to a babysitter, right? what do you look for in that babysitter? Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. If you okay. have a child, and you, you know, for instance, if we're placing a child in a home somewhere, mm -hmm. what do you think? What do you look for? What do you look yeah. for exactly? Do they got the food? Mm -hmm. Are they in a safe environment? Are they going to be in a bed? Right. Are they being, their needs being met in school? If they're struggling in school, what do you do? Are they, are they being helped in school? Right. Uh, also, uh, health-wise, are their health needs being met? And we do all of that. We're in the and make sure that get the kids, your kids doesn't get lost in the system. Right. right. Thank you. It's good to hear. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you very much. Miss <laughs> Barbara, mm -hmm. where's your table? It's all the way around there besides kids' health. Are you coming back to it soon? I am. I'm just making a circle. Okay. Okay, because we want to interview you too. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. You'll be able to look at a community day and it'll be on YouTube. So I'll film it and I'll put it on there. But it'll be on My King's TV. No, it's going, it's just raw. <laughs> it didn't take too much time. Oh, you didn't want to be on camera? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. We, we already were already filming. I'm sorry. I'll cut it out. I'll cut it. I'll cut. No. I'll cut that part out. Uh, would you want to tell us about the without being on camera? Tell us about the Absolutely. child. The child Advocacy Center has been around for over 20 years, and they serve um, children who have been sexually or physically abused, mm -hmm. and they are referred to our agency by either DSS or law enforcement. Okay. And what we do is we provide a forensic interview as well as any kind of wraparound services that they might need. Not only them, but the family as well, because you know, once the child is affected, the entire family becomes affected. And how can they reach you if, um, you know, if someone needs help? Is there a phone number? There's a phone number. We do a lot of awareness, but if they are abused, they would call law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we do have a phone number for awareness and prevention activities oh, that we provide. Okay. And our number is 910 Okay. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry about that. Try not to film me now. <laughs> Ladies, this is... This is our part of our intercessory prayer team. Okay. Kingdom Impact. Okay, this and is and they are some praying ladies, let me tell you. <laughs> You're live on TV, so can I see everybody's face real quick? And <laughs> you can tell us. <laughs> tell us here. Wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we already got you, man. We already got you and uh, take the glasses off. <laughs> tell us about your, your name, please. Naomi. Miss Naomi, yes. Carletta. Yes. And and without the glasses? Carol. Okay, she, okay. What station are you from? This is My Kings TV. This is Worldwide TV. Um, it's local as well, but you'll be able to see it on YouTube. We'll do com Community okay. Day. Is that okay. fun? Community Outreach We'll call it Community Outreach Day, and I think okay. I'll have the whole kingdom. And, and yeah, we'll have the whole name. Okay. And so you just key it up on, uh, you know, you, um, Google by tomorrow or by Monday. Okay. And you'll be able to see yourself again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, okay. What's your name, sir? My name is Andrew New. Okay. And you do security? I do security. I'm also working with the care center. Okay. You want to talk about that? You want to talk about that um, table there? That's perfect. The book bag. All right. This is live on TV. It's called My Kings TV. Brand new television station. <laughs> I work with the Care Family Violence Program. We work with the victims of domestic violence. We also work with perpetrators of domestic violence, mm -hmm. uh, mainly uh, education and prevention. Uh, we also have a veterans treatment program. Mm -hmm. We have the women's support group. And, uh, we have a uh, women's show. Okay. Now, how can people reach you? Where are you located? You know. Located in the basement of the Department of Social Services. Uh, they can call us at 910-677-2532. Do you have a website, email address, and, and your regular address as well? No, uh, don't. Don't quote me on the website. Okay, okay, that's fine. But, uh, they can call us, and uh, we open 24 hours. Uh, if uh, someone is a victim of domestic violence, uh, uh, the police can contact us, or they can call either one of those numbers, and they can reach us 24 hours. Fine, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to take a film of your, your table.
All right. And then the center here. Really just close the square, you're awake. Really? Yeah. Oh, you can work, you can work. All right. All right. Then now we have another table. I'm just going to work. What do you work at? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just asked the Hi, you're live on TV. This is Mike Kings TV. And um, would someone want to tell us what's going on at this table? Okay, did you want to be filmed? Let me get a picture of you. Okay, okay, how, how are you? Okay, hi, good morning. You're live on TV, and we'd love to take a um, picture of you if you don't mind. And tell us all about your organization, yourself, and your team members. Okay, um, my name is Peggy Middleton, and I'm the executive director for Operation Blessing. Okay, we've been here in Fayetteville for over 31 years. Yes, I do know. Uh, providing food, clothing, limited financial assistance. Also, crisis pregnancy uh, care services, as well as a parenting class and why you learn. Yes. And, uh, so, how can they reach you if they need your help, your service, or want to volunteer to help you at location? Uh, on location, we're located at 1337 Ramsey Street, and our phone number is 910 483. 1119, that's mm -hmm. for the Operation Blessing side of the house, and for the Crisis Pregnancy side, is 910-483-3111. Uh, mm -hmm. And we're open Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday, 9 to 3, and then Fridays, 9 to 11.30. Mm -hmm. We close each day from 12 to 1 for lunch. All right, thank you. And you can also visit us on the website. Okay, what's your website? Our website is Operation Blessing Fayetteville. Mm -hmm. Dot or or dot com. Fayetteville okay. Operation Blessing dot org or Fayetteville. I'm sorry, Operation Blessing Fayetteville dot com. All right. Well, thank you so much. Can I take a picture of your your table? Yes. All right. Thank you. And I'm Archbishop Marcia Karen Abrams, and this is My Kings TV, and it's local as well as regional and worldwide, and it'll be on YouTube. We'll download it on YouTube. We'll call it the um, Kingdom Impact um, Ministry, as well as um, Community Day. And thank you so much.